So I, I think this, probably the, the major strengths were the, um, you know, that this was a, a large trial. You know, so uh, more than 17,000 patients were enrolled in the study. Uh, so it gives us fairly definitive uh, answers, right? We're not concerned uh, that we were underpowered, there was a trend toward this or a trend toward that, that um, we have fairly definitive uh, answers. I think another strength is the population of patients in this trial is more representative of a population that might be seen in the a general practitioner's office. You certainly see lots of patients with, with diabetes. Um, only a portion of those patients have had a heart attack or a stroke previously. Many more of them are in this primary prevention group. And the population that was enrolled in this trial um, just had to have one additional risk factor. So had to have hypertension, had to be a smoker, had to have elevated, uh, elevated lipids. Uh, so I think that this is a, a trial that, um, that reflects the population that people are seeing in clinical practice. You know, I think that, um, you know, all clinical trials are, uh, you know, have some limitations and it's not quite the real world, right? We um, end up uh, having many more interactions with the patients than they do in, in general clinical practice. Uh, you know, so sometimes the compliance with medications and things like that may, may be better. Uh, in this trial, um, we also did what's called a run-in period where patients uh, had to take uh, a placebo for a month. Uh, they didn't know it was placebo. They thought they were taking a study medication. But if patients didn't comply with that, then they weren't enrolled. So I think that in some senses, this is an idealized experiment, right, that more, your, the patients were more likely to take the study medication, were more likely to be compliant. Uh, so, uh, you know, certainly in order to have benefits, you need to be, you know, on the therapies. So, you know, I think my, my biggest limitation for this would be that, um, you know, that the, the compliance was probably better than you might expect in clinical practice.